The Age-Related Eye Disease Study, AREDS, sponsored by the federal government's National Eye Institute, has found that taking high levels of antioxidants and zinc can reduce the risk of developing advanced age-related macular degeneration, AMD, by about 25%. This major clinical trial closely followed about 3,600 participants with varying stages of AMD. The results showed that the AREDS formulation, while not a cure for AMD, may play a key role in helping people at high risk for developing advanced AMD keep their remaining vision. But is the AREDS formulation right for you? Here are some questions and answers that can help you make that decision. On this page, people who are at high risk for developing advanced AMD should consider taking the combination of nutrients used in the study. Your eye care professional can tell you if you have AMD and are at risk for developing the advanced form of the disease. The doctor should give you a dilated eye exam in which drops are placed in your eyes. This allows for a careful examination of the inside of the eye to look for signs of AMD. Before taking these high levels of vitamins and minerals, you should talk with your doctor about the risk of developing advanced AMD and whether taking the AREDS formulation is right for you. The specific daily amounts of antioxidants and zinc used by the study researchers were 500 mg of vitamin C, 400 international units of vitamin E, 15 mg of beta-carotene, often labeled as equivalent to 25,000 international units of vitamin A, 80 mg of zinc as zinc oxide, and 2 mg of copper as cupric oxide. Copper was added to the AREDS formulations containing zinc to prevent copper deficiency anemia, a condition associated with high levels of zinc intake. Can I take a daily multivitamin if I am taking the AREDS formulation? Yes. A daily multivitamin contains many important nutrients not found in the AREDS formulation. For example, elderly people with osteoporosis need to be particularly concerned about taking vitamin D, which is not in the AREDS formulation. The AREDS formulation is not a substitute for a multivitamin. In the age-related eye disease study, two-thirds of the study participants took multivitamins along with the AREDS formulation. If you are already taking daily multivitamins and your doctor suggests you take the AREDS formulation, be sure to review all your vitamins with your doctor before you begin. Can a daily multivitamin alone provide the same high levels of antioxidants and zinc as the AREDS formulation? No. The AREDS formulation's levels of antioxidants and zinc are considerably higher than the amounts in any daily multivitamin. Can diet alone provide the same high levels of antioxidants and zinc as the AREDS formulation? No. The high levels of vitamins and minerals are difficult to achieve from diet alone. However, previous studies have suggested that people who have diets rich in green, leafy vegetables have a lower risk of developing AMD. Will taking the AREDS formulation prevent me from developing AMD? No. There is no known treatment that can prevent the development of AMD. The study did not show that the AREDS formulation prevented people from developing early signs of AMD. No recommendation has been made for taking the AREDS formulation to prevent early AMD. Taking the formulation reduced the rate of advanced AMD in people at high risk by about 25% over a six-year period. We do not know if this treatment effect will persist over a longer period. However, by continuing to follow the AREDS participants, we hope to find out if the treatment effect will last longer than six years. Are there any side effects from the AREDS formulation? Some AREDS participants reported minor side effects from the treatments. About 7.5% of participants assigned to the zinc treatments, compared with 5% who did not have zinc in their assigned treatment, had urinary tract problems that required hospitalization. Yellowing of the skin, a well-known side effect of large doses of beta-carotene, was reported slightly more often by participants taking antioxidants. Large clinical trials sponsored by the National Cancer Institute demonstrated that beta-carotene increases the risk of lung cancer in current smokers. In these trials, most of these smokers were heavy smokers. The only other large clinical trial evaluating beta-carotene was the Physician's Health Study, PHS. In the PHS, there was no evidence of increased cancer risk.